Welcome back, boys and girls, to Recorder 101. Uh, this is Mr. Labus here in my beautiful study here, virtually. So I hope you enjoyed the background. I haven't figured out. Have you figured out yet what movie background this is? Let me know, because I won't tell you. So anyway, today we're going to start with our recorder. I know last year we did do the recorder, but we never finished. And there are some people that never did do recorder, because there might be some new students in our classrooms. So we're going to go over some basics. As you know, the left, the recorder is a left-handed instrument, not a right. I know you realize you can put your hands all the way down, but it is a left-handed instrument. The left hand goes on the top part of the recorder, and the right hand is the bottom half of the recorder. When you're not using the bottom half, it is used as a support. Because if we go the other way, yes, yeah, some people did try playing the recorder with the right hand. But as we progress in learning, it is trouble getting some of these fingerings down at the bottom. Another instrument that is a left-hand instrument that we would realize is the clarinet. Left hand on top, right hand on the bottom. Notice on the clarinet, there are side keys and there are side keys at the bottom. If I reverse it, how are we going to play the keys on this side with the right hand on top? And how are we going to play the keys at the bottom half of the clarinet with the left hand? It can't be done. So that's an instrument that's also a left-handed instrument is the clarinet. Another instrument that's a left-handed instrument is the flute. You hold the flute with the left hand and the right hand as at the bottom half. You can't play the flute in reverse because then still you can't be able to play the keys on this side, nor can we play the keys. And how are you supposed to play the flute when you have to reverse your hands like this? So those are two other instruments that are left-handed. You cannot play them in the reverse. Now to play the recorder, it is a soft playing instrument. You don't have to put a lot of air into the flip uh, into the recorder to make a sound so we we are going to inhale through our mouth take a breath and exhale and put the instrument to your mouth notice it's a very soft playing instrument that's not that's crazy sounds and that's not how you play the instrument properly. It would drive me crazy hearing those sounds like that. So you take, inhale. Yes, everybody, inhale. Exhale, you put the instrument to your mouth. There'll be enough air to make a sound. Hold it with your right hand, inhale, inhale through your mouth. And exhale slowly. That's the quality of sound that we want. So we're gonna we're gonna articulate with the word do. Say the word do with me. Do 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 do. You notice when you say the word do, where does the tongue lie? In the back of the teeth. Do do do. So let's hold the instrument up. Take a deep breath, and we're gonna do do. Exhale slowly. And you notice the tongue is touching the roof of your mouth, right to the front above the teeth. Let's try that again. Inhale through the mouth. Everything's through the mouth, nothing through the nose. Everything is through the mouth. Take a deep breath through the mouth. 
exhale slowly. All right, thumb goes on the back hole of the instrument as in order for it to be there. If it's not there, you're not gonna get anything. With the thumb on the back, you do get a sound. It's very important that you make sure that thumb is on that back hole. So, the first finger goes on the first hole. Make sure it's flat. There's a little bump there underneath your finger that goes into the hole. Let's make a nice, soft, quiet sound. When you do that, you're overblowing. That means you're using too much air. Inhale through the mouth. How long can you let that sound last with a nice, even tone? The next one is the second finger. Now, you, now, don't forget, you leave this finger down. You're adding fingers. So we'll add the next one. Some people might have tr uh, difficulty. It's a challenge because you can't. It means you're not covering the hole correctly when you get sounds like this. So make sure it's flat. Use that little ball at the bottom and it goes into the hole and press down. Then add the next one. So let's try tongue. The do, 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 do. Make sure that thumb is on the back hole. Add that first finger gently, flat, and go do, do, do. Inhale, through the mouth. Notice where the tongue is placed above that top teeth. Now, when you're comfortable with that sound, work on each one before you go into the next one. Then add the second finger. And then hold it out. If you're comfortable with that, it comes out nice and clear like this, the way I'm playing it, then add the third finger. Make sure you use the word do. I want you to experiment with these sounds. Add each finger when you are comfortable. Add the next finger and get a nice tone. And when you're comfortable with that, add the third finger. Now, this is a virtual background, so I don't know whether or not you can see everything on here. Hopefully, it'll be the correct position. The first note we played was the note B. And the fingering, this circle here is the thumb and the first finger. The next note is A, which is on a space. And that's the thumb, first, and second finger. The next one is on a line. It's the note G. It's the thumb, one, two, and, and oops, we have to add one more. I missed that one. I'm glad you caught that because we have to have all three circles covered for the note G. It's a little darker. Oh, this was not supposed to be covered. I'm just going to make them darker so that you can see. So we have the three notes we just learned. The three notes are, let me get to the side. I can do this right. Is B, A, and G. B is on the third line. A is on the second space, and G is on the second line. And here's your fingering. This is the thumb, first finger. The B is thumb, first and second finger. 
you're adding. Make sure both fingers are together. You don't lift one and not the other. And the last one is G, is thumb. One, two, and three. And those are the three notes we're learning today. And it's on the treble clef. And the sign on the end is the treble clef sign. So I would like you to work on these three notes. And when we get started being comfortable, then we'll start looking on the staff because this is the staff, which is the lines and the spaces of music. Lines and spaces. So until the next time, please view the videos. And when you finish one video, press the next button. It should shift you to the next video. Then you press the next button and it should shift you to the next video. And then on one of the slides from this sequence of videos, it asks you a question about fingerings. Please answer it and send me your answer. That way I know you viewed the videos. So have a great afternoon. I hope the mornings are doing well with you. And I hope you're all online and everything is clear with no disruptions. So thank you for watching and we'll see you the next time. This is Mr. Labus and I am signing out.